Hi, everybody. Thank you guys so much for joining us. This is the Q&A for the story of you. Uh, we have a great group here of creators and cast members. Uh, joining us, we have Caleb Wall, co-director, Pete Gardner, who plays the father, Allie Jennings, who plays the sister, Elise, and Joey Stromberg, who plays Aiden, in addition to Raleigh Kane, who is a co-director, star, and creator. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for, Thank you. Thanks for having us. Of course. Um, I'm glad you guys are part of our virtual festival in this virtual world. Um, but we all just saw your pilot, so we want to talk about it. Um, Raleigh, as the creator, I kind of want to start with you. Where did this idea come from? Um, so I had this story in my head for a while, but then I, I wrote it really quickly last April, it just kind of, all of a sudden I sat down and wrote it in like one weekend. But I, um, I grew up between my parents divorced, long story short, I have remarried parents with kids and remarried parents with kids. So I grew up between the two. So I've always just been interested in nature versus nurture and what makes us into who we are. And I thought it'd be really interesting. I have a couple of friends who found out later in life that their dad wasn't their dad. And some of them met their dad and had a relationship. Some of them still haven't. And I I just thought if you ask yourself like how much do I get from how I was raised and how much do I get from something I can't help that's in my blood so yeah that's fascinating <laughs> yeah. but then I threw in um pregnancy and affair which has not happened in my life I as a uh... <laughs> there when you were growing up <laughs> no there's still time there's still time <laughs> <laughs> um so I and I I love I mean the kids in this project were hysterical speaking of whole <laughs> teacher scenes were those actual actors or were those local kids or how did that um we got really lucky those the school that we worked with was incredible and I'll let Caleb talk about directing these kids because they were hilarious um they we had someone work with us from the school and she was just like I'll get you a list of 10 kids I'll get um every type of kid, I'll find you kids that are at loud. And she just brought all these kids. And then Caleb, do you want to talk about directing them? Yeah, I, uh, I was pretty intimidated, honestly, because it was like 12, 14 kids. And I had <laughs> never really worked with kids like that before. And uh, I actually really enjoyed my time working with them. Um, they were they were way more cooperative than I thought. And I think like, the big thing for me is I just like got on their level, I pulled one of those tiny chairs in the kindergarten room. <laughs> that run right next to camera. And I think that was the most effective way to like, just kind of play with those kids. Cause it is kind of like a game. And I, I've worked on enough movies and seen like people direct kids well and not direct kids well. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think like, uh, yeah, I think I enjoyed it a lot, <laughs> honestly. And I realized if we had more time, if we would have just let the camera keep going, the stuff that they said that we didn't tell them to say was far funnier, <laughs> like just better. I loved the scene uh, with you, Joey, in the um, gym with, was it Spencer was like the kid's name? And yeah. it was like, oh, but I can keep a secret. My dad and the ashes <laughs> and the, the, I mean, just like, I, it Thank seemed you. like you guys kind of had a good bond with them. And I mean, I don't know what kind of work you put into that, but it, yeah. it was very- I was, trying to, I was trying to like get on his level because he was like, he's kind of a sneakerhead and like, I've got some buddies who are hypebeast. So I was like trying to talk to him about shoes, yeah. but like, that kid was like way too cool for me. And he was like, oh, okay, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I'm old. yeah. Like, don't talk to me. <laughs> but, um, I actually felt, I felt kind of bad. I was telling somebody this the other day, but like, I felt kind of bad because like I was yelling at him, I guess, a little bit. And I was like, I hope he, I hope he's like not dissuaded from kind of like pursuing this because he was so funny. He was so good. And I had to like, I like would go up after and be like, hey, man, like, just, but, you know, just joking around. He's like, yeah, I, I know, dude. Like, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> really bringing you down to your level. Yeah, it's like, uh, I'm not talking now. That's great. Uh, so how did the, we've got so much cast here. How did the cast all come together? Um, Pete Gardner and I worked on a movie called Man Camp that um, is streaming now on iTunes and Prime and stuff. And um, I just had a great time with him, and so I hit him up about being a part of this. And honestly, I cast Allie and I took a class together, but she does a lot of sketch. Joey and I were on the same improv team. Caleb was my DP for a short edit. I just cast all my friends. And so 
it was just really fun that way. You can kind of tell like when you guys had the family dinner scene at the table and the first, one of the first few scenes, you guys seemed to all really click really well. It felt you know like what's funny about, family. You know what's kind of funny about that is that we had never met before. Well, none of us except for like Raleigh and I had met and Raleigh knew the other people, but we never had met. And then when we uh, had arrived in Oklahoma City, we were at the Airbnb and one person at a time would come in from the airport and we're all playing cards and we played cards for like eight hours <laughs> and we were playing hearts. And by the time that eight hours was over, we knew each other. <laughs> we knew each other so well. And we, you know, we were having fun with each other. We were laughing, we we're listening to music. And by the time we got to set, we knew each other. We were, we were a family. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You guys just gelled really well. And then before you know it, you know, uh, the sisters are just running off to go get the pregnancy test and then it just came very <laughs> frenetic and <laughs> but um, that was sweet. That made me like, honestly wish, I mean, not that I would ever want a pregnancy scare like that, but have a sister, I can be like, <laughs> yeah. in the car, we're going to go get a test. Let's do this thing. <laughs> how was, how was that scene for you, Allie? Um, yeah, the, the scene of like, driving there and then like waiting to find out like the results of the test. I feel like uh, Elise and I would handle it pretty similarly and which like, you know, when you're in a difficult situation, it's like, what's the right thing to say? And, um, you know, sometimes if you just say everything um, right or wrong and you just feel that kind of terrifying silence by just like chatting and chatting and chatting. Um, I feel like that's a really great way to cope, yeah. or not a great way, but a way to a cope. Way. Yeah. Um, and so um, that was really fun. And um, Riley and Caleb were so great because they would let me kind of like riff a little bit as well. And so like, um, uh, you know, I would just, you know, kind of nervously babble like I am right now. Um, and um, it, it, it gave it like a really real feeling because it was just kind of like me nervously, um, um, Beverly. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was great. It was very sweet. And, and, um, I just loved your connection as sisters during that whole thing. Um, but I did, I, I had a question, I guess, when I was, uh, watching this again the other day, and I guess they can really go for, um, Raleigh and Kane. Why was there an affair to begin with? Why was there an, an affair? Cause I feel like what, what I'm curious where that like your character's um motivation was for that because I kept thinking he's not a bad guy you know he's you know he's he's got his quirks and he's um you know maybe not the person I would marry but but uh, you know <laughs> I, I was I was like why why did this happen in the first place and then obviously there's the affair and then there's your father problems and well not problems but remembering <laughs> this the whole secret so I guess long story short going back to babbling um, where did the affair stem from in the first place? I started initially thinking, we always judge our parents and like, I always wonder how I'm going to screw up my own children. But I think it's easier when you become an adult and you make the same mistakes as them. So at the end, when Jane finds out that her mom might have done the same thing, I thought it'd be really interesting that she can't judge it as much. If she's pregnant and she doesn't know who the dad is, what is she going to do? And then the guy who plays my husband, Peter Murphy, yeah. He was a great guy and he didn't do anything wrong. And I was just trying to point out that people have affairs and it doesn't have to be for a reason. They just get bored. <laughs> like, Hey, I love that. It's not like cut and dry that he's a terrible person or you're a bad person or that just life happens, I guess. Do you want to add to Caleb like with yeah, directing on honestly, set? That's, that's a big thing that really drew me to it was like, to me that made, made it more tragic that it was just sort of out of this, like, I don't know, the thing that I always thought about was like, I have a lot of friends who are teachers or I know people who are teachers. And a lot of times when you're a teacher, you sort of begin to take on traits of those kids sometimes, like a little bit of those immaturities and things. And I thought like that relationship happening at a school was really interesting. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just thought the whole like, it not being, yeah, like you said, for a specific reason was, was a really interesting take on it. Yeah, no, it was, and I felt bad for pretty much all of the male characters at some point. <laughs> You know, I just was like, oh, she should be with him. He should be with him. Oh, her dad. Oh, no. Like, you know, it, <laughs> um, yeah, I felt the those male characters had a really hard time in this episode. Sorry, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, well, we're excited to see kind of how it plays out in the future. So what, what are the plans um, from here? Are we just going to play it series fest and see what happens? Or, I mean, obviously we're living in kind of uncertain times, but um, um, you guys have such a good family dynamic. It'd be great to see it continue. I know. Um, I've started, you know, I have a, a pitch video deck and planned out the rest of the se season. And uh, I think we're going to be at Catalyst as well. Great. And then um caleb do you have any <laughs> yeah <I'm, laughs> kind of uh, figuring out these times yeah trying to you know uh like see how these next i think like everybody everything's on pause kind of yeah. i have all these different people talking about things that are going to happen soon but as soon as things happen but um yeah i think raleigh's really prepared to start pitching this and i hope i can be a part of helping her do that that's great so you're just going to go back to Oklahoma and, and shoot some more and just... I would love that more than anything, honestly. Really? Yeah. I, uh, I love the film community there. And uh, I think a TV show would do really well there from my, like, just shooting it there. And um, yeah, I just enjoy working there, honestly. That's great. Did you guys all enjoy it too? Oh, yeah. Good it's people. awesome. Other than <laughs> yeah. the, the hearts, you know, right. it's really not Oklahoma specific, but... Really good well, I'm actually from Kansas. Really. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So, like, it's like two and a half hours from my hometown. There and you go. There's something, there's something about those places that, like, time stands still, you know? Yeah. So, but Joey and I were on the same improv team, and we both realized we both went to KU and are both from Kansas after we moved to LA. And so, I then I met Caleb. He's from Oklahoma. And he was like, why don't we just shoot it where I'm from? I know the whole crew. So after Christmas, I drove down and Joey drove down and then we just flew. We only had to fly out three actors and then it was just really fun. I definitely want to keep yeah, making yeah. stuff there. <laughs> That's awesome. So, oh, you're, so you're from Oklahoma and you just had a crew base there and you said, come on guys, let's do this. Yeah, I, I mean, it was one of those things where like, it's weird in Hollywood, like Christmas, it takes them forever to get going again. And so I was like, okay, like we, we have the budget we have, I have these friends. I can squeeze in this window and people aren't working and we can really make this thing. And, it, and they were all great. You know, they, uh, they all came in and worked super hard. We had one really long day and nobody complained. It was awesome, so. Yeah. Wait, but, you did one day? No, 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 no. one long oh. day. I was but, like, whoa, yeah. hold up. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, it's, it's wonderful, guys. And honestly, I'm, it's so nice to see, you know, the co-directors and cast here. And um, I just wish we could have you here in person, but maybe next year. And you just, that's what you got to do. You got to go back to Oklahoma, shoot some more episodes, bring mm -hmm. it back to Series Fest when we do it for real in Denver. That'd be Sign great. Perfect. Pete's camping right now. He even stepped aside to find service. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at you. I thought maybe you were just, oh, wow. Where, where are you camping? I'm up in the, the Kern River Valley. I have no idea where that is. I know, but it sounds interesting, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. It really does. <laughs> I thought you were just maybe in the driveway, just hiding from your family, but. Um. <laughs> no, the, I'm, we're actually so close to the river that it makes a lot of noise. So oh, wow. Go up in the Jeep. Well, now I'm a little jealous. I live in Colorado, but I should probably do that, but. No. Oh, you got it good. Colorado is beautiful. It, it's very nice. It's, it's, I can't complain. We got a lot of sunshine <laughs> and some fresh air, but um, I'm, you know, talking to you fine people instead, I guess. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for doing this. This is so great. It was so fun to talk to you and um, stay tuned for Series Fest next year and hopefully more episodes of your show. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye.